It's a trick shot not many people could make. Daniel Wasif decided to perfect this move while stuck at home during the pandemic. Here he is breaking the record for the farthest backward kick of a soccer ball through a basketball hoop at 5.7 meters. And you could say that was the moment Wasif caught the fever. A fever for breaking records. This was the first of six Guinness World Records that he broke since this moment here. And here he is now to tell us all about it. Six-time Guinness World Record holder Daniel Wasif joins us from Laval, Quebec. Hello, Daniel. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, look, some of us kicking a ball or, or making a hoop is hard enough. You kind of did both. Tell me how this all began uh, about that very first record. What made you decide to attempt to break a Guinness World Record? Here's the thing is that I... Um... I didn't have any creativity and myself when we were uh, confined about uh, or, or quarantined about three months or four uh, during the pandemic in 2020. Uh, when the snow melted in, uh, in April, I, w I played some soccer a little bit uh, and then I tried some tricks. I posted it on Facebook and everything. Then the idea came uh, all by myself like that alone. Um, suddenly I was like, instead of shooting uh, uh, the ball in, uh, uh, using it in, in front, I did the backwards, but I had to, it was not my basketball hoop, it was my neighbor's basketball hoop. And he was like, oh, sure, go ahead. Then I, I was like, okay. Then I recorded myself doing it and I got it eventually. I mean, look at that. It, it's just so much fun to watch. and. But that wasn't it. You said you went on to break the record for most soccer toe taps in one minute with 151 taps. What is it about breaking records that appeals to you and makes you feel good? Makes me feel good is all about consistency and persistence. It's like I was born with a, with a spectrum, uh, with a disorder uh, called uh, autism and all that stuff. And it's for me, it's it made me feel strong in, uh, on the inside because it, this is how consistency works and persistence is that no matter what you are, where you come from or what you've lived, anything is possible. Just be yourself. I mean, you could be that thin, that big, that small, whatever, and you can achieve anything in life. I mean, it, it may sound a little bit like a one in a million chances, but I made it a million out of a million chances to get it. What an amazing attitude and an amazing uh, lesson to draw from that. But tell me, uh, to, to be able to do most of these things, I mean, you got to be a pretty good soccer player to begin with. Tell me, Daniel, why soccer? What made you fall in love with soccer in the first place? Uh, back in the days when I was uh, before 10 years old, uh, I watched soccer, but I didn't understand the concept of, of uh, FIFA or football, as they say in Europe. Uh, then... My dad showed me uh, the uh, many, many uh, sources of uh, championships of soccer, Ch UEFA Champions League, uh, CAF uh, Champions League, uh, MLS. And then since then, since I was 10 years old, my first player I've ever watched was Ronaldinho, uh, the, the god of football, you know, and then Lionel Messi and uh, Mohamed Salah and all these big players and Mohamed Abutrika. Then when I saw those moves with those feet, I was like, wow, those are amazing shots. The, the amazing moves they did then and when i saw them shooting a ball through a net in a different way like the style of it how they shot it was like mind-blowing i was like since then i love football and obviously you've been uh, getting really good at it now you don't want to stop at just six records though a lot more records than most of us have uh tell me how many records you want to break and why I want to break 100 records, and uh, the reason why I want to break 100 is because I want to prove to everybody that many things in life, we uh, we live in we live in such a, a cruel world. But many things in life uh, that we live is not at our expectations at first, but we need, like I mentioned, we need to be based on consistency and persistence if we want to reach that goal. And I want to teach that to the young people, the the, the future generations of this world, that you can achieve anything. And no matter what you are, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, to reach 100, I, I don't, I don't really, you don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be uh, perfect at it. It's all about sacrifices. Now, walk me through some of those sacrifices because we do know that you work hard to make those records happen. If I wanted to do this, how many hours a day would I have to practice? Like, what's your daily routine? I'd say. 
two, three hours per day I practice. Wow. Wow, that's really something. I, I'm pretty sure that I still wouldn't be able to do it, even if I practice 10 hours a day. But you said you want to be an inspiration to others to follow their dreams. Uh, you mentioned that you have autism spectrum disorder, that you're, you're, you're proving to people uh, that everything is possible. Why is this important to you? It's important because that's the faith in humanity that counts. Because imagine if you want to do a, want to be in, in a university or, or, or something like that you want to go to achieve a phd it, uh, like achievements doesn't have any limits doesn't have any uh, uh, limitations or doesn't have any color and has, has no disability anything is possible from what i learned because i i've you know what i learned also is that have you i've always asked myself have, have i ever seen a businessman suffering before he was where he was right now I've never seen a successful one successful businessman without suffering. This is the same thing for me and for everybody else that's been going on through a lot. Yeah, that lots of effort and sweat goes into achieving anything. And Daniel, I understand that you might be able to do a quick demonstration for us just before we go. Can you show us a trick now? Maybe those record breaking toe taps just as we say goodbye? Sure, definitely. Thank you so much. Okay, great. Bye. All right, ready? Let's see Daniel Wasif, multiple Guinness World Record holder. Here he goes.